In the Tri-County Regional Center for Education, David Phillip and Brandy Jarvis Nickerson are looking for ways to get students what they need. As the center's coordinators of African Nova Scotian and Mi'kmaq education respectively, one of the things they're focused on is improving representation in schools when there isn't that much of it among staff. They say students are clear about what they want and need to help them succeed. They want to see themselves at the front of the classroom. They want to see themselves reflected in the curriculum and the source materials that are used in the, in, in the schools. It's difficult to know how much work there is to do because the province's regional centers for education do not have data about staff diversity. A spokesperson says they're working to gather that information this winter and it will be available at a later date. There is, however, data about the diversity of the province's student population. Students provide information about cultural background on a voluntary basis, so it's likely the numbers are higher than what's available. Regardless, Phillip says school staffs need to reflect the communities they serve. Tyler Simmons didn't give much thought to representation when he was going through the school system. It wasn't until grade 8 that he had a teacher who looked like him, and years after that before he considered teaching as a career option. But in his first year teaching elementary school, Simmons is seeing firsthand the positive impacts of diverse representation. I also am noticing now in my class that some of my students are now saying, when I'm a teacher, and it feels like that language has changed from when I first had them in September to now, because they're starting to feel like because they have a black teacher that they are potential to accomplish the same goals as me, is they can do it. As the regional centers attempt to recruit more teachers from diverse backgrounds, Philip and Jarvis Nickerson keep advocating for students. Along with examining curriculum and tapping into community resources, they say there are other things that can help. Equally, it's somebody that takes an interest in, in terms of who they are as individuals, who they are uh, as a family, uh, who they are uh, outside of the school, and not just as a student who needs to be taught. It's an effort that remains ongoing with much work still to do. Michael Gorman, CBC News, Yarmouth.